passion. You've got to show love now. Losing out for the Tweedy's fingers. Right director. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing this. That's BAFTA winning. BAFTA winning direction, Oscar winning script. Teachers have a one day opportunity to transform Shakespeare into their own prize winning films. They're responding to a challenge set by the BBC. Kingston on Hull in Humberside, and John Robson is on his way to the BBC. He's part of the team running a teacher's training day for the 62nd Shakespeare project. The challenge the BBC have set is to choose a play from Shakespeare's extraordinary canon and produce a one-minute version. Winning entries will be posted on the web for all to see. The 63 pictures there for this, for this 60 second um, short film. Today, teachers will be learning to use free downloaded software to create their own short photo story. They're raring to go. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks very much for coming this morning. Uh, the purpose of today is... If Genevieve Swift and Jason Mayher are the other two tutors on this one-day workshop. So, as a group now, you need to decide for yourselves what are the key themes for you? What, are, what is the message, basically, that you want to get across? The teachers will be working in two groups. One will be focusing on Romeo and Juliet, and the other on Macbeth. We know the, the scene we want to look at, but we're just in the middle of deciding which is the, the foremost theme. But we're certainly thinking about ambition. Ambition, right. And temptation. OK. We want to try and um, do the, the love, the tragedy and the conflict, you know, with the parents. OK. We're not going to tell the actual story from start to finish of a particular play. That's, that's the first thing. There's just no way you can do that in 60 seconds. Whatever format you choose to use, whether it's a straight retelling, an analogous situation, or a montage of images and a more abstract version, you will always need to have a plot. is ambitious to win the X Factor um, and gets through the auditions and then Sharon as Lady Macbeth becomes kind of a puppet master controlling this protege and they decide that the only way to have to, to find success is to kill Simon Cowell so they sing him to death and blow his, <laughs> <laughs> his eardrums out and his brains explode so um, they find success get a record contract but then Sharon withdraws and the, the protégé is left to stand alone and like a puppet, having its strings cut, find that the career becomes a bit of a flop in the long run. So, how are we going to visualise that? That's, 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 our, that's our next sure. stage, yes. yeah, how are we going to visualise yeah. that? I've got a background in literacy and in um, ICT, and this is a, a good way of bringing the two together. A crossover project like this would be very, very useful, so they could film a little bit of Shakespeare, which they could then submit to the board for language and for media studies as well. The, the easiest way to, to look at it is look at having three storyboard sheets of six frames each as your beginning, middle and end. It's just as simple as that. And um, Jason explains a storyboarding technique to help both groups structure their ideas. These are kind of you can screw these up and throw them away if if you decide the idea isn't very good. It's as easy as that. So don't don't um, don't worry at this stage of, of of filtering any ideas at all, even something completely mad. Um, just just put it down. Yeah, we'll do it there. And then and the plot we'll... develops to kill Simon. Yeah, kill Simon. In their version, an ambitious contestant represents Macbeth, and Duncan is represented by Simon Cowell. The contestant is tempted to kill Simon because his critical comments are threatening his success. He could maybe, that's where we could maybe put the temptation song. Yeah, temptation. Him singing temptation. So Simon's going to introduce the temptation element. Yeah. But wouldn't it be temptation as a result of what Simon says? Yeah, so you need a song before, so you need a song before that, before that, don't you? And but he and could be warning the against the, the theme of temptation. Then. Why do we want to kill Simon? Because he because he's Simon's because Simon's because Simon's Simon holds the power. So Simon's given given the negative feedback, so we want to kill Simon. 
yeah. Yeah. Okay. What we need is the bit where Macbeth, the aspiring star, has that moment of guilt. Are you sure we're really all to should be doing this? We should be killing Simon. Yeah. Um, he's saying, actually, I think this is. I, I, I think, think what's. I, I think, think this is too big for I me. I think what Simon says has got some truth in it because it is perhaps too big a song for me. Yeah. <coughs> Because that's what Macbeth says. Yeah, he yeah. says I shouldn't kill Duncan, actually, because he was a good king. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, John is with the other group, helping find a motivation for their plot. Yeah. I think that's the most important theme, isn't it, Romeo and Juliet, that they come from two separate backgrounds, yeah. two separate situations. So what it? Well, you see them with the family and how different they are, but yeah. that's going to do it. It's just us. Uh, it's He's still in West still. He's, He's still on West still, yeah. 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 How are we going to show them? Rovers and all. <laughs> well, yeah, actually, yeah, should have some rovers and all. Football shirts, that'd be fantastic. Football shirts. I have to look out for somebody that's got the scarves. Oh, can we borrow your scarf? <laughs> well, I mean, we've got the rugby tavern, rugby tavern over there. We could meet in there. And the song's going to be I'm going to blow your mind, right? Yep. Yeah? Yep. New song. I'm going to blow your mind. How are you going to film that? <laughs> Don't know yet. <laughs> have we got. Um, Again, be aware of the, the information and the, um, the constraints that you've got. Because this is the sort of stuff you're going to come up with the students saying, oh, I really want to do this. Great, do it, but how are you going to do it? Can't we actually get some stuff and have stuff oozing out from between his fingers? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, Lonely, I'm sure we can. Blowing his yeah. brains out. Yeah. Sure, well, just I mean, even bright just as basic as a yeah. 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 Just physically yeah. dribbling out. Yeah. I'm hoping it'll help to... I appeal to all the kids, all the year nine pupils, because a lot of them do find it difficult to access Shakespeare at the moment. So I think this will be really useful for them. But I think it'd be good for all abilities. When we actually go through the Romeo and Juliet idea at school, I always give them a quick brief, go through the story. And I just, you know, describe it as in their reality. You know, you meet a, you meet a kid, but you don't get on with his dad, and his dad's kicking off, and your mum's kicking off because she, they don't like the family, and, you know, and they kind of get it then. You've got to put it in their language, haven't you, really? Especially for the lower ability, it works, you know. I think Shakespeare frightens them. This way, hopefully, it works. Yeah. So, would it, would it be maybe a good idea for, like, for the groups just to exchange the concept and idea of what they're doing, just so each group knows what they're doing? Just to discuss your storyline a little bit. Both groups have decided on a setting, their characters and plot. John now gives them a brief opportunity to feed back to each other before taking to the road with their cameras. We're doing Romeo and Juliet. We're basing it around the pub. That's our main sort of setting. Um, the boy sees the girl drop a necklace. Um, he then tries to find her via putting a text into the whole Daily Mail. Uh, they meet up in the pub with the separate families, realise they hate each other. There's a brawl, Mercutio gets killed. Um, we run out of the pub. Uh, Screeching noises, car crash, get run over, a, a death. Yeah. Mm. And in hand, really happy. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll use our storyboards as like our map of our images, what we need to go out and get. Okay? Now, I think this one's pretty straightforward. It's that one that I'm not concerned about, but we just need to maybe have a little bit of creative input on that to make it look realistic. The challenge for the Macbeth team is to find a way of portraying Simon Cowell's demise, his exploding head, effectively. If we got like something you could squish, and, yeah, and you could actually do, do yeah. it like a, like a, yeah, like a grapefruit or a melon or something or a. Yes, that's um, good. Hit the melon with a hammer. Orange. Yeah. Or an orange. Yeah. <laughs> orange with a hammer would be quite effective. Add tomato. Tomato even better. Yeah, that's a good idea. We'll get a tomato. Yeah, I like that. We're getting into kind of like uh, proper film. So we, we talk about Eisenstein films and things and, and montage and juxtaposition. So should your establishing beginning shots be looking at that initial meeting, then they go their own way and one <coughs> writes a classified advert and one reads it in the newspaper and then they come back together again? The message says, you know, saw you sat down in Queen's Gardens, love you, meet at. Mm. And it's the person that you know who's reading it who is then anxiously waiting to see who they're going yeah. to meet, yeah. 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 and then when they see them, and it's the it's so wonderful. So probably the next stage then is to shoot these photographs. I've brought two digital cameras with me. 
One's like a really small, straightforward point and click. You've got to show love. Woo! Exuberant. Chris, take your pen out from behind your ear. And then passion. Right director. I think we're, we're all Back inside, and all their wonderful images have been imported into software called Photo Story 3. So now they're all set to start editing. My experience of using this software in schools with young people, they really get excited about seeing their own images, their own stories, work that they've constructed using this software. They get a real proudness of what they've achieved. So it's your job now to sequence them and get them in the right order as they appear in the film. Yeah. Excellent. We can do that. Right, so and if, the if there's ones on here we don't, we don't want to do that. That first one. So you just press delete. Simple as that. Yeah. Okay. That one. Right. As we've taken a lot of um, the paper. Mm -hmm. That one, that one, and that one. And that one. That yeah. one, yeah. You only know one of those. I think that we should leave them on for quite long because we'll need to do a little snippet of music, won't we? Yeah. And it's just like a carny inset of music and they'll continue with Love is a Many Splendid Thing. Oh, it's all automatically set to five, right. Yeah. I'm just wondering whether or not each time we bring the tomato in, we make it bigger. Bigger. I like that. So it builds to the... Yeah, to the... Squish. Squish. <laughs> So if you frame it so you've got your tomato right in the middle and then set the end one to be the same. Right. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing this. <laughs> right. right. Now all that's left to do is record and lay an audio track, and maybe add some music. We're just going to use a really simple £20 microphone from somewhere like Jessup's. That's gone into the microphone socket in the back of the laptop. You're going to be great. Let us make fair exchange. You're going to be big. At the Rugby Tavern. You're going to be a superstar. I have your heart. That's BAFTA okay. winning. <laughs> I think the teachers had a really good day. They actually enjoyed themselves. They enjoyed doing the workshop. They enjoyed using the software. And they enjoyed singing and having a laugh. And they also enjoyed having a finished product to take away with them. But first, a preview. Romeo and Juliet as never seen before. I have your heart. I would that you had mine. Let us make fair exchange at the Rugby Tavern. <laughs>